What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to look at a cool video. So with the launch of the Ryzen 9 CPUs, we were able to see uh, how much this CPU is a top performer in almost every field, every application basically. But all this power comes to a cost. So power consumption and uh, thermal dissipation. Uh, with um, 12 cores or, um, and 24 threads or 16 cores and 32 threads respectively for the 3900X and 3950X these CPUs are really powerful beasts but um, uh, they have a pretty big uh, uh, TDP so we are talking about uh, 105 uh, uh, watts uh, which goes up to 122 uh, in case of uh, full load on all cores. So obviously all this power needs uh, an adequate uh, dissipation system. And this cooling is required uh, where, whether you do overclocking or not, obviously. We're therefore going to look at a new cool product, a water cooling solution, water block from an emerging Chinese brand called uh, Bixki. Uh, this company was found in, uh, founded in uh, 2008 and uh, as a factory in uh, Dongguan and is basically producing any kind of cooling, uh, um, fans, uh, but also PC cases. I only used to have EK water block products in the past. They worked really good. I've been having those for several years. But last year I wanted to try a different uh, water block, so I switched from my EK, EK Supremacy EVO into an Intel uh, water block from uh, Bixki and was really impressed by the quality and also by the performance. Basically I got only uh, one or two degrees more than the EK solution, uh, but at half price. So that's why I wanted to give a try with this new uh, water block with uh, for the AMM AM4 platform. By the way, you can see my previous Bixki uh, water block here, and you can also check my video here, the 2,000 bucks uh, build. So without further ado, let's go into the detail of this product, unboxing, uh, and temperature tests. Let's look now at a quick unboxing of this uh, water block. You can find it for around um, 40 dollars and is compatible uh, with AMD, AMD Ryzen uh, AM3 and AM4. There is also the Intel version obviously and uh, it's packed of features so we're going to look at it right now. First of all there are two versions so the RGB and the RBW. And we can read here that uh, it's uh, made of uh, Mitsubishi acrylic material, um, light transmittance of 92%, uh, the absorbing plate uh, of the water block uh, is made of high purity copper plate. Uh, I chose as you can see here the 0.5 millimeter version and obviously here there is also an explanation about the optional uh, uh, temperature mo monitoring. So let's open it then. So an installation guide. Luckily it's both English and in Chinese. Usual backplate. AM3 and AM4 screws entry. So this is the RGB addressable as we can see here. So the 5 volts one. And here is the water block. looks really amazing it's quite huge so now follow me and let's uh, install it first thing to do is obviously to drain our loop and remove the old uh, CPU water block plus the motherboard the back plate and the hooks near the socket then we apply our thermal paste on the CPU. In my case, I will use the Thermal Grizzly Hydronaut. 
which has a great thermal conductivity with a value of 11.8 watts per meter Kelvin, which is one of the absolute best you can purchase around. As usual, there are a lot of techniques uh, on how to apply the thermal paste. You can do a line, you can do a big X, a star, or spread it uh, all over the CPU. But what I like to do is uh, to put a dot in the middle and let the pressure of the water block to do the job. I've been building PCs for over 20 years now and uh, never had issues. Whatever technique uh, uh, you, you will be using, uh, I can assure you it will give you the same results as long as you don't put too much or little. Next step is to take our water block back plate and remove the protective sticker, then simply stick it to the back of the motherboard in position with the respective four holes, as I'm showing. Once it's firm and in position, peel the protective plastic off from the bottom of our CPU water block and cover the CPU with the water block in the right position. Then insert it in the four holes in the following order. First of all, the four springs in the four mounting screws, and then the four screw washers for blocking the springs in position. And simply screw them into the back plate holes one by one, starting from top left and continuing clockwise little by little, screwing them until everything is firm and in place. So here is the result finished, we are now ready to fill our loop and check if we have any leaks. We have now filled the liquid loop and we are still waiting for all the bubbles to get out as well as checking for any possible leak. I am now plugging the water block RGB cable to the 5 volt RGB port on my motherboard as we are not talking about the ordinary RGB lighting system here, but uh, we have uh, the RGB addressable version, which is really what I like. I will have to get uh, splitter since on my motherboard I only have uh, two 12V uh, uh, RGB headers, but only one 5V addressable header. So I will need a splitter in order to uh, attach everything.
The 3900X with its uh, 12 cores and 24 threads or the 3950X with the 16 cores and 32 threads are super efficient. Nevertheless, their TDP is uh, 105 watts, which can go up to 122 watts with all cores at full load. Therefore, getting a good cooling, I have to say I was impressed by the cooler included in the 3900 box. It really does a great job. Nevertheless, uh, here are some tests and comparison with uh, Cinebench R15 and R20, with uh, maximum temperatures measured with the air cooler solution and with the water block. So looking at the maximum temperatures, so we get 75 degrees Celsius with the Cinebench R15 air cooled. and 7 degrees less with our water block. With Cinebench R20 we still get 75 degrees Celsius with the air cooler. and uh, around 69-70 degrees with our water block. Obviously in the long run we also see benefit in the average temperatures. Pretty cool, isn't it? So let me know in the comments below if you tried this product uh, as well or uh, if you tried other products from Big Ski. I'm very curious to know what other um, products you tried from this brand, uh, like fans uh, or I don't know, some other water cooling uh, uh, accessory and so on. Also, please remember to subscribe in case you want more content like this one. I have a video coming out for the 3900X review in case you are interested. So stay tuned and see you in the next one.